Agro Suede and welcome everyone to Agro Suede back here guiding with me, Mitchell Juno Suede. In this video feature, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to harvest the pomegranate, then show you how to cut it, and then I'm going to plant some seeds and I'm also going to prune the tree. As you know, full moon is on Tuesday and I intend to prune the tree so that it could grow out with a single stem and that I could control it so it could grow like a tree and not as it is very bushy. Although it's very sudden that I have to do it because I can see here it's flowering already. Right here it's sending out a flower. But I wanted to focus on this one stem and shoot out new shoots on this stem and grow as I desire. Of course as you know if you prune your plant 7 days at least before full moon it will send out a lot of new leaves. Sadly full moon is on Tuesday so I'm pruning it now so it's not going to have a lot of opportunity to send out new leaves. That is actually good. That means it will stay short. What I'm going to also do, full moon, I'm going to prune the top up there. I'm going to prune the top of the full moon so that it will stay short. And then for the next full moon, I'm going to once again prune some more hair so to send up plenty new leaves on the stem. So it's a process which I have to really look into since I sadly allowed the full moon opportunity, seven days before full moon opportunity to um, pass my way. Okay, so what I'm first going to do is harvest this pomegranate. This is the only one remaining. The other two, um, they basically got... Uh, one fell and the other one had a, like an infection that there. So as you can see, this one sort of almost got the infection itself. There's a bit brown. So the other two, I don't know what happened, it got brown. So in regards to um, cutting your pomegranate to actually get the full <laughs> enjoyment of it or ensuring that you get the seeds out properly or the fruit itself, you will just have to cut the top here, not where it was connected to the plant, but basically the top but the bottom of the fruit so it will be like that the bottom of the fruit you cut around it like a circle cut around it like a circle try your best not to actually cut through the fruit now i've never actually seen it as yet let's see how it i can see you have some pink liquid coming out from it there and let's see and then you just hold the top and just turn it like a hat okay it's not as bright as i thought it would have been it's not a, as bright at all um, again, it's organic. Um, we are just assuming that the the pomegranate, which we would normally buy from the store, is organic. Okay, so I'm not quite sure if it's supposed to be much redder than that, if it was organic. But I know for sure I purchased some that was deep red. So, what you'll then need to do or want to do, um, you'll want to cut. That's the fruit right here. You'll see where it have the bridge, meaning like the separation between the seeds. You cut alongside the bridge. Okay guys, so while we have the temporary shades, um, shade provided to me by my brother, because you will not be able to see properly. Okay, so as I was saying, you just take the, I can temporary with this up. So you take the knife and then you find the bridge or where the seeds have been separated and you cut alongside it. Do not cut through the seeds, cut alongside till you reach the base. Then find the next one till you reach the base. The next, I think there should be mainly about five of them sometimes it's six seven is based on the size or the width of the um, pomegranate this is a very small pomegranate and then then you simply open it <laughs> granny what you laughing granny <laughs> my granny is laughing at me. Anyway, so then you get it like that and that's how you basically get it out now as you can see here oh it's falling some of them falling if i was on a table maybe it would stay but nonetheless just wanted to show you guys You've seen this perfection right there. This is what was separating the seeds and this these are the seeds. You basically just pop out the seeds like this. Just press it in a container of course and then all the seeds will just come out like that. Just go ahead and pass your finger against it and all the seeds will come out. Nice. I'm not sure if you can see it. Try my best to show it to you. <laughs> okay, so here it is. That's your seed right here. Mmm. It's not a sweet. It's actually tastes like water. You no, know, those you buy in the store would be very sweet. This one is not a sweet, but the good thing is that it's organic. So I'm very proud of. The <laughs> 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 company is laughing because of the fact that we have to try to get the sh the shadow. Anyway, <laughs> um, it, it is pretty organic. So um, that's maybe why it's tasting like that. Then you have the seeds which you can sow. I will show you how to sow it. Um, the video of 31 minutes, 
so allow me to first prune the tree and if we have time i'll show you how to sow the seeds in this video okay thank you so very much mr john <laughs> okay <laughs> Okay guys, so the, obviously the, 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 the sunlight is back. My brother has resigned from his job, <laughs> providing me shade. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna prune the tree. Where do you start, you might be asking. I am basically going to start um, with all the branches I don't want. I'm going to start at the base, so I'm gonna get you closer so you could see me pruning everything from the base, because it would be sort of easy to just cut everything here, but I wanna start from the base because I wanna get rid of all of that. I know it's sad, but at times you have to make sacrifices guys you have to make sacrifices so let's get a bit closer okay guys so i know it's very sad but i have to do this so as i was saying in a, a, a previous video this is the main stem right here so i'm going to cut all of that all the others so that it could the plant could focus perhaps that's why my pomegranate was not a deep red it have a lot of all the branches which are basically unnecessary again please use a pruning um tool i don't have one as yet i don't have a lot of tools but I'll get them pretty soon and I need to do this. So I'm going to use the knife. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. I know, I'm just going to leave it in there. It's quite sad to do it, but I have to do it. Uh, yes. I wanted the problem with me. I was having a conflict between this one as the main or this one as the main. The problem is I have a bit of OCD. So I don't want to leave the main one on the side of the port. I want the one centralized. <laughs> if I could, I, I'm, I mean, I can allow this one to remain as the main one and just control it what do you think it's shorter that's why i wanted to use it but this one is taller i feel like i can stop putting it control it and i feel like this one is the best i'm not quite sure yet nonetheless i'm gonna cut this one on the side for sure it has to go oh gosh okay okay so i guess they're gone sorry <laughs> uh then this one right here 90. 45 degree angle right so let's see conflicted between these two okay guys so what i've decided i'm going to actually take out this one the taller one if you did not know by the way all of all what i caught is on one single plant okay i will get you closer to see when i shake it that they're all shaking it's one single plant i just need to get a main main one so i decide i'm gonna leave this one why because there's more potential to control it um allow me just to show the upper level a bit so as you can see here i can more control this so i will go ahead and have this pruned and this will send on new shoots in this area and i'll control it better it's shorter and it's better in regards to controlling it growing as a tree so i'm going to cut this one it's gonna be a bit difficult because it's so big okay here we go it's sad i know but you know you have to do what you've got to do so now what i'm going to do I'm going to have this one controlled as the main branch then i'm going to put a pipe right there and kind of have it centralized so let's get this so i'm just going to stick this one down here all the way to the base okay okay guys so i'm just going to have this pulling in a bit okay I'm not gonna leave this for long because I don't need to cut for the tree okay so just gonna have this like that just for about two weeks I guess maybe till actually maybe I'll just leave it like that till the next full moon cycle or seven days before full moon so as I advise you by having this done like that the tree if i had done that um seven days before full moon this will cause the tree to send out a lot more leaves because that means it has less leaves on these branches to take care of so it's going to mainly focus on this one but it's basically full moon on the two days from now that's tuesday so i'm just gonna leave it i'm just gonna leave it be and then from tuesday to let it stay short okay guys so here we are i'm going to show you how i'm going to actually plant my pomegranate seed um if you remember i showed you how to do the technique with the tomato and i'm going to do the same thing here with the pomegranate if you remember when i cut the tomato i just simply placed one two three slices of tomato in the soil and then i took some soil and i covered it and the seed actually germinates i do apologize for the background noise there's a bit of noise going on here i do apologize um right so then so i'm gonna do the same thing i'm just gonna have just 
small, I would say a trench, but just a small dip there in the soil. Go ahead and place your pomegranate right here with the seeds. You could go ahead and remove this also. It would not really matter. It will all part, form part of the um, nutrients so after it breaks down for the seed. Here you have it. Just cover it like that and give it some water. Okay guys and here you have it. I know you've seen some moisture there but I'm gonna put it in the sun. Um, the pot has holes at the bottom but I'm not quite sure why the water is not going down faster. Um, but please try best not to leave your a lot of water in the pot. Again I'm going to put it in the sun. It's very hot right now so that is just fine. Okay I'm just gonna have it placed in the sun and then I'll show you a result about two to three weeks from now to see what's going on if it germinates for us. Okay well guys I hope indeed that you um, enjoyed this video of course and learned a lot from it. As you saw in this video we did four main things. I have my only <laughs> pomegranate on the tree I showed you how to cut it and how you can remove the seed and I also showed you how to um, sow the seed and I showed you the process whereby I pruned the pomegranate plant to leave one single stem to allow it to grow as I desire as a tree as I told you I was conflicted between the taller branch and this one and um, I actually decided to leave the shorter one as I am able to control it better or to turn it into a tree structure better um, of course don't forget if you want to prune your plant for it to stay short prune it the night or the day of full moon to go down the plant to focus on root growth so it will not be as tall if you want to plant to send out a lot of leaves or you want it to send out new leaves if you find your plant is very um, looking very dead the leaves are dead you just want it to get back to life you can prune it so it could send out new leaves seven days before full moon that is the time whereby upper growth is taking place on the plant if you want to see your tree or your plant send out a lot of new branches and leaves seven days before full moon is the time thank you so very much for staying with us of course for this video production i hope indeed that you have a great great week and remember guys a back in garden in some ways will keep the doctors away and agris way is out